voice diary on August 13th, following the law as a foreigner. When we travel to the foreign country, we should follow the laws because when we go out, for example, flying to the other country, we are passing through about uh, immigration twice with a passport or visa. And then when we should know about it, we should get back and then passing uh, the same way. So staying other country is a very, very uh, strict, following strict rules as a tourist and or <clears throat> student or living in a month uh, or uh, working in the foreign country or someone who want to immigrate to other country or get a green card or standing uh, legally about investment and then they keep the living uh, for long times. Whatever we do, wherever we live, and then we should follow the law, keep the law. But the matter is, we are not interested in about the law and then we don't know about the law. So, and then the simply the matter of law is it's up to us because we shouldn't know about the law. We should learn when we do uh, go traveling other country and or the basically what to do and then helping with the um, official place like uh, embass, embass, ambassador and or the, the keeping rules. So let me check about as a tourist. Huh? And when we uh, go um, flying ticket, the booking the flying ticket, uh, normally we are doing booking the accommodation hotel or some of that. Uh, convenient. If we move uh, one place to other place, uh, also can uh, stay at the accommodation. Nowadays, people also can use uh, Airbnb. That is uh, also another option about it. But uh, strictly say, and then like uh, Vietnam, and then the, according to the law, the owner of the house should report about the uh, someone who stay there and then at the officially. If not, and there is something wrong, and then, and, but mm, I'm, not sure, I sh I'm not sure about it, this matter. Even uh, when I travel on Pukok and I stayed with my friend house, uh, some little bit natural, like a uh, free country about that uh, law. So no matter what, what to do, and then can, stay in friend's house. Also, there is something uh, doing uh, following the law. And then and then if the law, uh, 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 against law, and then little problem with this. Uh, let's think about uh, staying for one month. And then I stay uh, one place, uh, one month, uh, and I, um, I get an accommodation for one month uh, living. And then the manager uh, agent agent uh, can deal about my staying uh so and then the law is significantly important who the agent is the estate agent can do that not only rent the house but also making uh process according to the law so this is very important. So, and then I'm going to ask about AI, this matter, because I study with my language partner who are interested in the estate business. So AI, when I stay for one month in Vietnam, when I rent a house, what I should do, following the law in Vietnam. AI, 
can you tell me when I stay, when I live in one month, live in Vietnam for one month, and then what I should do after uh, renting the accommodation, like house? AI, can you answer? When I live for one month in Vietnam, when I rent a house, what I should do in officially to follow in to follow the Vietnamese law about accommodation? Is there something to do? Uh, if I live in for one month in Vietnam, if I live in one month in Vietnam. If I live in one month in Vietnam, and then and what I should do of the following the Vietnamese law, and then after renting the accommodation, should I uh, register about uh, my staying in, in uh, government? Uh, can you tell me about the law and what I should do, and then? Uh, is, can I get uh, the health from agents of estates? I wonder. Now I ask AI. AI might refer to me about the uh, uh, process. This is uh, studying about uh, law, uh, about as an immigratory situation in Vietnam. It's, I think it's, it's almost the same as uh, Korean and or other country. Being an expert who stay in other country is very important to who like uh, travel nowadays. Many people travel uh, just to short term or the one month, one week, and then even they want to stay in for a long time. And But uh, there is some uh, regulation about law, about the staying. That is a very important part. So I ask you, and then I hope to study with the, my language partners and about this topic. And then now I'm learning in Vietnamese and then the reviewing about story in English without thinking anything. Can, only I choose one topic and I say about it and then blah, blah, blah. Then, then and I can and go uh, through to how to speak and then the, there is a way to uh, improve my speaking skill at the one thing. And the time is as well, I'll try. And then with my language partner who wants to study English and Korean or some other country, other languages, and also following this way, and then we can try this. Okay.
topic, understanding legal requirements for foreign travelers. When you travel to foreign countries, be sure to follow the law for you. This is particularly important because during the international travel, we pass through immigration file once when entering the country and again and leaving. In this situation, we must ensure that our documents, such as passport and visa, are in order. As a tourist, student, temporary resident, or those seeking to work or immigrate, understanding and adhering to the role of the host country is vital. Whether you are standing for a short period or are planning to set a long term, compliance with the law is non negotiable. However, many people are often unfamiliar with these laws, which can lead to unintended violations. The importance of legal knowledge for travelers, whether we are booking flight accommodation or making arrangements for our stay, understanding the legal aspect is the key. For example, if you are traveling to Vietnam, you might book a hotel or use a service like Airbnb for accommodation. However, it's important to know the local laws may impose specific requirements on both property owner and guests. In Vietnam, for instance, the property owner is often required to register the presence of the foreign guests with the local authority, the dwelling to do so could be legally true. This is why, even if you are standing with a friend, it is important to ensure that all legal procedures are followed. Standing for one month in Vietnam, the what you need to know. If you plan to stay in Vietnam for one month, and rent house, you should be aware of the following. Legal registration. Legal registration. Upon your arrival and securing accommodation, it is important to register your stay with local authority. This is usually handled by the property owner or the estate agent. By the tenant, you should ensure that this is done. You should ensure that this is done using a state agent when renting through an estate agent to make sure that the agent is licensed and that the rental process complies with local regulation. This may include signing a formal lease agreement and ensuring that the property is registered for the type of occupation you intend, English residential tourist. Documentation. Keep all relevant documents, such as your passport, visa, and rental agreement, in order. These may be required for registration or in case of any legal requires, inquiries. Compliance with the local laws. Be aware of comply with local law, including those related to the noise, waste, pre disposal, and other aspects of their living. Uh, even minor infraction can result in penalties, and especially for foreigners, language and legal studies. Uh, or as you continue to study the law and improve your language skill, it's beneficial to engage in practical exercise such as discussing these topics with a language partner, understanding the legal landscape of countries like Vietnam, Korea, or any other destination will enhance your ab ability to. Navigate is environment competent question for product clarification. What specific steps should I take to legally register my stay in Vietnam when renting a house for one month? Are uh, there any additional legal requirement or consideration for foreigners staying long term in Vietnam? What or do estate agents play in ensuring compliance with the local law? And then how can I verify their legitimacy? Can you explain the differences in legal requirements for tourists versus those intending to work or study in Vietnam? By studying these aspects and understanding the law, you can ensure a smoother and more compliant experience while living and traveling abroad. abroad, 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 abroad. Come to think that. Do that. You get you cao pháp lý đôi bồ chú khắc ngốc ngờ khi chúng ta di chuyển được ngốc ngờ để quan trọng là phải còn chịu lốp pháp giờ còn 
những ai đặc biệt quan trọng vì trong quá trình du lịch quốc tế chúng ta phải qua chua các nhắc khang và xuất khang mỗi lần một lần do những tình huống này chúng ta phải đảm bảo rằng cách giải của quan giải trò rằng hân nữ hồ sư và vi gia chữ học lễ hồ sư vi gia à hồ sư hồ sư dù là chữ khắc sinh bền cử sang tạm tội hại nhưng ngồi muốn làm việc khổ nhập tình các thứ và thuần từ luật pháp của nước so đây là rất quan trọng cho dù vắng âu lại chúng tôi ra ngang phải tin tin gì lâu dài lâu lâu dài luôn chú pháp lớp Học lực là dù bắt được sư nhiên như ngồi xuống phong quần rút vội nhưng lúc này như này có thể dành đến vì tâm ngồi y mua. Tầm quan trọng của kiến thức pháp lý đối với dù khắc dù chúng ta đang đặt về mây về cho ô hải sắc sắc cho khi nhị của mình bất cứ tất cả các pháp lý là điều cần thiết ví dụ như bản gì du lịch tiền bạc anh có thể đặt đặt các sản các sản bản 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 tại Việt Nam à để đặt các sản hoặc sử dụng các You have been to the hall. Thứ nhiên, điều quan trọng là phải biết rằng luật pháp giả phẩm có thể dự dốc thảo và thách và tư thức cụ thể đổi bồi thảo sứ nhà và các chuyện. Giải viết âm dư hạ dư nhà chung phải đăng ký sứ hiện diễn của các nước ngồi với sinh quân và cũng như họ làm như vai có thể dần dần thật văn về pháp lý. Đây là lý chú tại sao mấy cả kỳ văn ở cung văn về điều quan trọng là đảm bảo rằng tất cả các thư thức pháp lý điều thức thuần trụ lưu trú mô tăng ở Việt Nam nhưng dù căn biệt như văn dư dinh ở lại Việt Nam dòng mô tăng và thuê nhà bạn nên lưu ý những dữ sao dữ sao đăng ký hốc pháp sau khi văn đến và cổ sổ dữ văn sông là phải đăng ký lưu trú qua mình với sinh quen gia phong dữ này sông dỗ dữ nhà hốc Đại lý bắt tung sản thực hiện những vội chữ các loại nội chuyện đảm bảo đảm bảo rằng việc ngài đã tức hoàn thành hoàn thành sử dụng đại lý bắt tung sản thì tuyệt quả đại lý bắt tung sản bắt tung sản bắt tung sản hay chắc sản luận rằng đại lý tức các phép và quá trình quê hương chữ pháp quy dân của gia phong. Như này có thể vào công để kỳ hố tổng thuyền sinh thức và đảm bảo rằng tài sản được tăng kỳ số lỗi hình cứu trú mà văn dự viên bí dự dân cứu tự lệ. Khoa lý trái tổ dự thất và khắc trái tổ liên quan sản hành như hồ sư bí giả và hộp trọng về nhà dự sử dụng thì căn chết các trái tổ ngay có thể căn chết để đăng ký hốc dòng được thế không? Ủa? 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 Ủa?
그럼 뭐 어떻게 아 하여튼 얘기해 아침에 아 알았어 음 ชื่อว่าชื่อลอฟฟ์เจ้าคงผู้บาชื่อชื่อลอฟฟ์เจ้าคงบ่าวผมกาคือสิ่งเมติงงงสุริจักไทยบาทักเทียทันทักว่าท